Coach Walters. It's a little different calling you Coach Walters, man. It is different. Nice ring to it, though. Did you like it? Like the first year? I loved my first year, yeah. I did. How's your body? It's going well. You know, when I first got there, you know, I was just coming off ACL surgery. I tore it first round of nationals last year. And came back and took seven? Yeah. I'll just point that out if nobody else will. Yeah, and then um, took seventh in the country with a torn ACL. I just I gotta repeat it just to make sure it sinks. So. <laughs> but um, yeah, I healed up, and then I honestly only waited like a month before I was on the mat wrestling again after surgery. And you know, I was fortunate enough to come into a group of guys that uh, made me look good. Um, you know, having like Hunter Gamble, Boyce Cornwell, Ryan Mosley, Trot, Kyle Ash. How many qualifiers you guys have? We only had three, but I mean. Like we, I thought Marinelli was dang well good enough to get there. I thought um, uh, Boyce wrestled his heart out with beating the crap out of the kid from SIUE and got caught in a split. It'll start the He's third. winning the match, wasn't he? He's winning, yeah, like 4 or 5 0. Got caught in a split right off the whistle in the third period. Ended up tearing his hamstring and fought all the way back for fifth or sixth. So. He was just a tough, hard-nosed person. He was definitely a, a JYD. When you say tough and hard-nosed, the biggest thing I think of is you. But that's not transferable. It's like you're you were culturally raised that way in Northeast Ohio. Yeah. I mean, you know, you, you're one of the most storied programs. Chanel Firebirds. I mean, the, the guys who came before you are just incredible. I mean, Colin Moore's a part of that. Found, he's a Chanel Foundation. His yeah. dad was a multiple Dad's times. A legend. Yeah, you know, his Jay Jaggers. There and and you guys, it's phenomenal. Mariola, I mean, the guys who've come out of Chanel, it's incredible. It's a who's who in Northeast Ohio. Culturally, it's so different, though. When we look at the South, yeah. they're just different, man. Because yeah, exactly. you're like one of the, I always, you're one of the tougher guys I know. Yeah. You're, you're saying something today, and I'm like, well, that's not why he won. A side headlock wasn't why he won. He won because he out wrestled people in weird positions, and you don't give up. Yeah. That's what was your bread and butter, in my opinion. But, how do you how do you build the culture of toughness? You're a tough guy. How do you take that and transfer it? Is it transferable? How do you do it? Well, I was, my dad is a 300 pound marine, so like since I came out of the womb, like my dad was hard on me, and nothing was ever given. I had to earn everything I had, and he always just taught me, you know, your mind's gonna quit way before your body ever will. So I've been saying since I was a kid, and you know, that's just how I was. Like I never like. Like we talked about my ACL, like that didn't bother me. My senior, year. my junior, year, I broke my foot in the finals. Somehow at the MAC finals, somehow made it to the round of 12. I mean, it just—I never let that be an excuse. It wasn't an excuse. I was still gonna. Someone had to beat me. Um, so as a as a coach, hopefully my attitude and the way I am, and they see how I train to this day, like it rubs off on them. And you know, just by little individual talks and all that, and you know doing individuals as practice like you just are constantly referring to you can do it you just have to believe in it it don't matter like your pain that pain don't have matter like uh you know jay jaggers when he won his first national title said something that stuck with me my dad actually has it tattooed on him after jay had said uh you know pain the pain of that injury will eventually go away but losing never would and that stuck out to me since since the moment he said it and that's just something these guys got to realize like in you know up north like running in the snow was just normal like we ran in the snow it was always cold we walked everywhere in the freezing cold like this year I, w I was at tractor supply and there's two people talking about how horrible this winter was and it was like 50 degrees and i was like man this is still tanning weather in ohio like you know it is different but it's just you got to get to those kids and you got to be in their face and you got to be hard nosed and know when to be hard on them when not to be hard on them can Perrine change it? I think Perrine is like real similar to you. Um, you got a better build than him, I must say. Thanks. But you know, like he, he's real similar to you. And he just powerful hips. Russell's hard in a lot of positions. Northeast Ohio guy. He didn't go to a wrestling school now. 20 years ago, 15 years ago, Nordonio was a wrestling school. Your dad's the head coach. He's going to change that, hopefully. But he was like one of the only guys on the team. Yeah. And he wins the state title in Ohio. That guy is a he's a junkyard dog. Can he do it? Can he can he bring the Northeast Ohio mentality with you? Is it going to take more guys? Is that guy going to be able to get it done for you guys? No, we got him and also uh, Denton Spencer coming in from you know Camden, Georgia. He's a tough, hard-nosed guy, especially from the South. I mean, but Anthony, 
Anthony has an amazing movement. He's very powerful. He's an amazing running back. He ran through you, and that's how he wrestles. He wants to go through you, and he want, his movement is so nice, and he's shorter and stockier, so he can get underneath you and then power through you. Him is going to be the mental aspect. I mean, that's something that he's struggled with. Um, but once he gets that together, hopefully us knowing each other for a while and him having an understanding of who I am and knowing if he gets out of line, I'm not afraid to put him in his, in his place because I'm comfortable with him. Um, once he gets that aspect and finds tune top bottom, Anthony is going to be a scary nationally ranked person. I think he's good. Anthony, I think he's really good. Yeah. And that's another guy where I was like, yeah, you got to get this guy that, you know, you're, you guys are local guys to Kent, Ohio, and I'm a Kent guy. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, get these guys. And get letting guys like that go, I think, is, is really Anthony, detrimental in Anthony's my opinion. He's never been a full year wrestler. That's crazy. He's, he's always took his summers off. I mean, he would he'd go up to universities last year. I think it was the first time he did that, but he never did Fargo any of that. Then he started training for football, and, you know, once he uh, once he does that, four or five years of just training wrestling, he is... He's going to be a bad dude.